what hides beneath the shadows. We are strong, like the armor of a rhino. We are sharp like the instincts of a lion, and faster than a snake. You have a mission, and we have the tools. Pole Force. All right, insanity rules once again. Pole Force, movie knives, but actually, they are tactical knives, all right? Since 1994, it says right here. And this, my friends, is a smaller version of the MK9. Of course, the MK9, Rambo, Last Blood, okay? And uh, whew. yes, this is quite the knife. Uh, I think just right off the bat, this knife really appealed to me. Uh, when I first saw it. So I chased it and at first, I mean, I didn't know what the hell I was looking at or doing. And so I got the movie knife, okay? Came in a different box with graphics and stuff and kind of a green G10 looking uh, handle and stuff. And I thought it was a higher end steel than what it was and I had it tested and found out it's 8CR13. Of course, the movie I mean, they're called Hollywood collectibles, right? So that was that knife, okay? Detmer Pohl, the designer of the Rambo knives MK9 and MK8, MK8 being this one here, okay? Uh, the full-size movie knives um, had a, a run of these done in, not in China, but in Taiwan of 9CR18 and micarta full tang, you know, big solid knives, okay? So you could buy an actual production knife other than a Hollywood collectible, you know what I'm saying? Then I think there was, a, you know, kind of an a longing for a smaller version and so here we go the D2 bladed uh, pole force MK9 small or he calls it the tactical 9 so it's the tactical 9 so the tactical 9 comes in an upside down box just like this and it says tactical 9 and of course this is the black finish Kydex sheath, uh, yeah, black finish here. Um, you can see this one has a lanyard on it and this lanyard comes out of the scales. It goes through the knife and you can do that here too. It just didn't have one lashed onto it. Uh, and these did when I got them. So that saved me a lot of trouble, especially doing this. I used to do paracord stuff and now I, I'd have to reacquaint myself with it. So much smaller and lighter. And uh, I'll give you the link to a uh, pull force. And this is where you can find these knives available. Okay. Uh, 269 euro apparently. And here's the information here. Okay. And this was the, this is what the stonewash one looks like. So if you don't like the black and pause and read for the rest of this if you want six millimeter thick blade stock we'll measure these out and weigh them for you and then we're going to remove the scales as well so you can see uh the skeletalized part of the knife blade and handle let's get to it shall we let's actually take this away put this over here because let's let's weigh them out um, and you can kind of see what we're talking about here as far as total weight goes. Okay, so this knife weight is supposed to be 16.76 ounces. Um, I'm, I'm touching the table and I don't know. I mean, I don't have a broad enough pad and my bigger scale's downstairs. So I'll just go with what he's saying on the weight. And this one here, 
I'll put the grams and the ounces down below here. But yes, this is definitely much bigger in the hand, much heavier uh, than the Tactical 9, this being the MK9, this is the Tactical 9. Um, and this being my Carta handle, and this being a G10, interesting, huh? This being a D2 blade, this being a stainless. This is a 9CR18 MOV, so different materials. Now, you may favor D2, so, uh, and some other people may favor more of a stainless option. So, yeah, you know, everybody's different in that regard. And these screws come off here, and let me, I'll, I'll do that for you right now, break it loose. And you got to go, and they do give you some paperwork in the box that says, come from the backside here, if you want to disassemble it, see, here's the screws, okay? And he, let's do this as well, okay? The front is not going to turn, and I'll show you why here in a minute. And if you've seen my MK8 and MK9 reviews, which are these full-size knives, you will know. Um, okay. So there comes the scale on that side. You can see where they've machined a little bit out through here. So you can run your cord from this lanyard area right on out the back, okay? Like they've done in, in, in this knife here. See what I'm saying, okay? And of course, these are the, this is the front and you can pull these out and these pins here, you can see they have a flat spot on them, right? So they're not going to turn, okay? Because there's a flat spot here. So do not try and unscrew this from the front side. You'll just ruin things. You're not gonna. You're not gonna move these screws because they're not screws. These are the big uh, pass-throughs. That these are the screws on this side here. So this is the knife with no scales. Which, you know, you can think about, uh, you can cord wrap. You know, in fact, I think it'd look really nice with a camouflage paracord wrapped. Um, also, uh, you can take the scales off and you can strap it, this to a pole, use it as a spear, you know, that kind of thing as well. So, you can also see, you know, where... Uh, this, let me see if I can show this to you. And let's line this up. And you can see the light through this area where that paracord would run for your lanyard, etc. right there. So, um, and th this didn't come with the lanyard installed, but there's lanyard cord in the box. And let me show that to you. In the box is some paper. There's a certificate of authenticity, Tactical 9, okay? Then inside here, there's this piece of a cord, which I guess, you know, black is nice for a lanyard on a blacked out knife. And then in here, the paperwork, which is really telling you about what I just stated, which is, do not try and unscrew this from the front side, do it from the back side. And of course, this is where your lanyard cord goes, and they show you that as well. Okay? Okay, so if you're interested, now that I got it disassembled, I can lean everything right in there, can't I? Hey, I'm brilliant. 16.9 ounces. And what did they say here? 16.76, close, 479 grams and 475. So we're really, really close. We stacked it all up, yeah. It's one way to get a weight. There's always some way to win. So will a knife be a knife? Okay. Yes, it'll be a knife.
It's sharp. Dang. How's that tip that I jammed into that that 4x4? Four four? You know what? It looks fine. Um, let's put this back together. There you go, Charlie. Okay. Straight up, straight down. There you go. And the other side. Push these bad boys back up through. And find a screw. So, yeah. Pretty simple to take apart. And put back together. So that's nice. I mean, I've seen a lot of handles that have big screws going through them it looks like and I can't I can't get the handle off once I take the screws out because they put some kind of real hellish adhesive on there and uh, I would rather have the option not to do that and leave it up to the consumer so that's a good thing here now let's see what we have for blade stock and they say six millimeters so yeah and it is six millimeters at 0.24 so basically quarter inch and it's 0.85 at 21.7 now 21.7 this is 25.2 at a full inch so definitely thicker on the handle but the blade stock is the same okay so that's the same but much lighter uh not as long let's get this and not let's not go over the tip here we're cheating ourselves okay nine inch uh blade which is almost 23 centimeters and 15 overall, okay? So this is a good size knife, <laughs> 15 overall, yeah, that is, okay. So about, there's a little, about 20 and a half centimeters, not really that, 20 centimeters long, uh, under eight inches more like seven somewhere between seven three quarter and seven and seven eighths and you know 13.6 13 five eighths of an inch and 24 or no 34 and a half 34 and a half centimeters overall length so yeah much much smaller much lighter really does feel more nimble in the hand which is the amazing parts the blade stock just is thick but definitely definitely feels lighter and you could work way up on here if you wanted but so this is a lot more practical probably for most people as far as you know bushcrafting or camping knife but you know they're tactical knives so you know i'll leave that up to you in that regard but just thought i'd let you know uh give you the link to this to where if you wanted to click in if you thought this was maybe too much or you're collecting every iteration of the rambo last blood types of knives then this would be an opportunity to kind of round out what you're doing uh, with getting the smaller tactical nine as opposed to just the MK9. And, and so uh, that's that was kind of my focus here. But this is one I'm not going to worry about uh, if I want to just pick it up and use it. You know what I mean? This one's going to be more kind of a proud uh, ownership knife. Uh, but this one, no. Uh, absolutely and of course comes with the sheath and the sheath is a kydex sheath it's also lined as you can see inside so quiet delivery there leg strap for your convenience as well take a look drain hole at the bottom of course 
All right, I'll cut you loose. I just, you know, wanted to go over these, the MK9, the Tactical 9, and then of course we have the Tactical 8 and the MK8. So, you know, you've got these four Rambo uh, designs available in different blade materials black coated or stone washed D2 9CR18 large small the whole the whole gamut there take care i'm going to leave you to it we love them knives so you guys stay sharp